Hey guys, Jenny Streeby, Confessions of a Hairstylist here, and I cannot wait to show you guys this easy Kim K slash Bardot sexy look. It is so effortless, and we used all Air Professional products today. Let's get started. All right, so we prepped her hair with dry texture mousse by Air Professional. Then I went ahead with a one and a half inch barrel curling iron and went through and simply curled throughout the hair using flexible hold hairspray. Now, the key to this is really that volume and oomph at the root area in the front area and kind of going back. So I did a horizontal section through here, the right side, left side, and the back. I'm gonna show you how I curl on base utilizing the flexible hold hairspray. I'm gonna go ahead and use the flexible hold hairspray. I'm gonna take the curling iron, clamp it at the base, ease the hair through the hair tongue, and then using a hairpin, pin it into place to let it cool down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and release the back section here. And then I'm simply gonna use my fingers to really kind of brush through the hair. We're gonna take the texture air by Air Professional all throughout the hair. That's really gonna allow us to get all that volume and fullness for this Bardot look. So for this look, because we want an effortless look, I like to just use my fingers. You don't want it to be perfect. And then just kind of br lightly brush up the hair to the top of the crown area. You definitely wanna let some kind of hair fall down organically, some of those softer bits. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a loop. So you don't wanna necessarily pull the hair all the way through the ponytail, you wanna create a loop. So I have a couple hair elastics bound into one. I'm gonna take the hair, scoop it up, and then create a loop, and then secure it one more time with our hair elastic. All right, so we have our loop. I'm gonna spread it out utilizing the texture air. So the texture air, what that's gonna allow the hair to do is add some grit and substance to the hair. So when we spray it and we kind of spread the hair apart, it's gonna stay, not be very floppy. And we're just gonna lightly pinch and pull it to create that disheveled Bardot look. I like to take my pinchers and pinch forward and back with quarter inch sections. We're gonna start pinning this hair up in the back to the front momentarily, but before we do, we're gonna go ahead and release our front sections. Okay, so now that we've released the sides, we're gonna do our shaping. So some of these pieces are a little too long, but we want it to kind of drape and kind of fall over very softly. So I'm gonna take some pieces, use some texture spray. Lightly tease it with my fingers and pin it into place. Doing the same thing on the other side. This is really gonna help create that layered look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start filling it in with some of this hair in the back. We're gonna just simply pull it in the front. And securing it into place with a hairpin. All 
All right, now for finishing touches, we're gonna use the flexible hold hairspray and just take some of those other last bits out and kind of drape it going across into the back and pin it into place very lightly. More texture air, get in there, almost kind of lightly tease it with your fingers as you're spraying it. Focusing at the roots, and that gives it that nice soft Bardot look. And per usual, we're gonna go ahead and finish this look off with some Spray Shine by Air Professional, giving it a nice glimmer, shiny look, and it's gonna help with those flyaways and frizz. And that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you soon.